it's just amazing sport and I recommend it for everyone that I actually encounter. Uh, I'm 47, it keeps me in shape, and this is what's important. I love the glide of in stand-up paddleboarding. So it's again back to that surfing, but the feeling of being able to float on water. going to give Canada an Dynamite. Olympic gold medal and it's a special moment I'm sure for you John one minute 56 Fantastic. seconds in 2010 a friend really coerced me to stand up on a paddleboard um, and I wasn't really interested in it at first because I, I thought it was time to, uh, to grow up and, you know, not acquire new paddling toys. So uh, I entered my first race in uh, January 2011 in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, and I won. And um, that just got me addicted. And since then I've been, um, you know, I've been paddling pretty much every day. Uh, in the last two years, every day year-round, basically. You know, being someone who comes from a canoeing background and then is now really involved in stand-up paddling, it's not only do I race and enjoy doing it, but I have a business that's based on it. Um, I, I care about both. And my, my feelings really are that um, I think that the International Canoe Federation should probably stick to managing canoe and kayak. And at the same time, the International Surfing Association uh, took on paddleboarding when no one else seemed to be interested in it. Um, so I think they could lay claim to it in that regard. I think they've made an effort to be involved, you know, and, and advance the sport for quite a while, and the ICF hasn't. Are you canoeing or are you surfing? I think you really have to be doing both, otherwise you're not going to get the most out of the board. I mean, it, it's partly technical, but it's also feel. To me, it depends on the day. If it's a flat water type paddle, you are paddling. You have a paddle in your hands. Uh, however, you are standing on a board, which is similar to a surfboard. So if the conditions change and you're downwinding or you are surfing larger swells, you are indeed surfing. Neither. I'm just trying to stay up on the water. And I'm trying to keep up with those guys because they push me. So yeah, so I'm not really canoeing and I'm not really surfing. This is a surfboard with a paddle. It's not a canoe that's been adapted to um, surfing. It's not standing up in a canoe, it's paddling with a surfboard. I totally came from a surfing background. So. <laughs> I'm always trying to uh, do a little bit of surfing the waves, even the tiny bumps out there, even on flat water. How can it be surfing? You're making a paddle stroke. You must be canoeing. <laughs> well, the board is designed to be able to catch waves in the shape of it. The fact that we have the fin out the back just like a surfboard, and even the way that we ride when we're moving around, we get into our surf stance. So how can that not be surfing?
Well, in one respect, it doesn't really matter who governs it because I'm still going to be going out there and, and enjoying the sport, as will virtually everybody else. You don't need rules, and you don't need uh, people telling you what to do, and you don't need any of that kind of thing to drive your board down to the water, take it off the car, drop it in the water, and, and go out for a paddle. So I, I would suspect that um, you know people are going to enjoy the sport regardless of who wins. They have an obligation and a responsibility to promote the sport um, and help it grow, to really share uh, it with as many people as possible because it is a wonderful activity and it'd be great for everybody if more people were doing it.